Reese from Supai and in this video I'm going to explain the difference between a typeface and a font. Font and typeface are two terms which are often used interchangeably, but they actually refer to different things. Historically speaking, typeface referred to a particular design and the font referred to the size that that typeface was printed in. Early forms of printing used metal blocks, each of which represented a specific character or glyph and a printer would have one set of metal blocks, known as a font, for each size that a particular design, known as a typeface, was available. With digital printing, more and more styles became available and could be scaled to any font size, which meant the distinction between typeface and font began to fade. Today, a typeface refers to what you see, a font refers to what you use. You may have heard the analogy that if a typeface is a song, the font is the mp3. This is a popular quote by Nick Sherman first circulated in 2015. A typeface can have many fonts, whereas a font is a file with a very specific set of values, including weight, style and width. Let's have a look at Google Fonts to see this in action. We're going to take a look at a higher Libra today. In this instance, Abhaya Libra would be an example of a typeface, and Abhaya Libra Regular 400 would be an example of a font. In code, we apply a font or set of fonts by using the property font family. I've set up an example for us to play with. Here I've got a basic static site set up, including a HTML file and a style sheet. Inside our HTML, we've got a H1 containing some heading text, and a paragraph containing descriptions of font and typeface. We're going to be using two typefaces here, Nanito Sans and Apaya Libra, but we've actually got three font files, Nanito Sans Lite and Apaya Libra in regular and bold. I've already added these via the Google Fonts API and applied Apaya Libra regular to the H1 and Nanito Sans Lite to the paragraph text inside of our CSS. We can see these two fonts in action already, but what about the third? Well, let's make some of the paragraph text bold. To do this, I'm going to add a strong tag around some of the text in HTML. So, I'm going to add the opening strong tag, and the closing, and then do the same over here. As we've added both Abhaya Libra Regular and Bold to our project, using the strong tag automatically makes this text bold. However, this is unreliable and it may not work in some browsers, so we should set it ourselves in CSS too. I'm going to head over and add in a rule for the strong tag. So I'm going to add some curly brackets and inside I'm going to add font, weight, bold. Remember, when thinking about typefaces and fonts, typefaces are what we see and fonts are what we use. We technically added two typefaces to our project, Apaya Libra and Nanito Sans, but we've used a total of three fonts.